Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Marvel Legends Shadow Cat, part of the Excalibur 3-pack, which so far has not, depending on which order you're watching these reviews, I'm filming this one last, uh, is not a great 3-pack. The two women are not good, and you're gonna see this one in this review, uh, but Captain Britain's pretty cool, so. Anyway, this figure's not altogether horrible, but it does some things really, really wrong. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get it off the stand, we don't really have to, and take a closer look. One thing I like to do when they are so kind as to give me reference images, uh, I like to just do a quick comparison, and... That doesn't look like the same person, really. I'm not even worried about the orange hair, because I'm familiar with her having brownish orange hair anyway. Like, more brown is what I remember. But uh, the outfit color is pretty much always that. It's a light blue with a dark blue. And they didn't give us a light blue. They gave us a not that light blue and a kind of dark blue. And also, they didn't really give her any shape. So, thanks for the reference image. That's helpful. Alright, let's do a quick height measurement so I don't forget. This figure stands roughly five and three quarter, including the hair. And that's going to be just about eh, almost 15 centimeters. Here she is up against Darwin. Perfect sniff in height. She is about 0.8 Darwins. This figure. Well, let's do a question of the day. I'll ask it again, just because in case you didn't watch the other one, maybe you'll, you'll answer it this time. Uh, do you guys usually want all the figures included in three packs and five packs and things like that from Hasbro? Or do you tend to have to buy the whole set in order to get one figure, like Strife, for instance? Um, obviously, I have to get them all to review them anyway, but if it was me just collecting, most of the time, I would not want everything in the multi-packs. I think they are... Just a, a crappy way for Hasbro to make extra money. Okay, let's talk about the aesthetic on this figure. It is bad in most ways. The proportions are terrible. She has long arms, tiny short legs. Uh, the, the torso is fairly small. The torso matches the legs and then the arms are just way too big. Looks super weird. Uh, the sculpt is not right. She has the baggy sleeves, which is accurate enough. Kind of a baggy chest, no real chesticles though, which is not usually how she's drawn, so that's a problem. But then also, we don't have the loose shirt coming down at all. It stops being a loose shirt just under her breasticles. So, and even then, it's not that loose, so it doesn't match the source material. And I'll post, I'll put some images on the screen so you can see, but she shouldn't have her abs showing. That's definitely not right. And also, her light blue, which isn't light blue on the figure, is supposed to go up much higher over her hip. So that, it just destroys the look of the figure. It does not look good. Does not look good. And I, I'm okay with the head and the paint job's clean enough. That's fine. That's good, I don't mind, I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with the hair color. I could be remembering wrong and she is supposed to have orange hair. I guess we'll see in the images I'm gonna find after the review. But the, the body looks terrible. And also there's no paint on it. Uh, literally none. <laughs> none. None, except for the face. There's no shading anywhere and every part is molded. Even the, the neck part is a separate piece that's set in. Which is fine way of doing it, that part's good. But not a touch of paint, nothing. No shading, nothing. You get nothing. Aesthetically speaking, this figure gets a 2 out of 10. The body's horrible, doesn't represent the character well, and it's just poorly proportioned. And it uses bad parts. Not good. All right, as far as accessories go, she does have the giant hands, the giant open hands that come on her in the package, which are definitely way too damn big. Uh, then we get some fist hands, so that's good. I would replace the giant hands with the fist hands. And then we get Lockheed the Dragon, which I'm pretty sure we already got this on, uh, was it with the Kitty Pride release in the X-Men costume? I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure we got this before, but it's good enough, and he has his little yellow eyes, and that's fine. Uh, but that's it, so, you know, not much going on there. 6 out of 10 because Lockheed's pretty good, but the giant hand's not good, and then nothing else. So, very disappointing so far. Alright, let's check out the articulation on this figure. It does have your standard hinge and ball. The, the lollipop syndrome's minimal, so that's good, but you can still break the neck way far forward on that hinge, so that's not good. But you can rotate it pretty well, as long as you account for the hair, so that's alright. Looking up and down is gonna be pretty limited due to the hair and chin. Uh, shoulders, we'll do it on this side because the hair will be in the way. 
Shoulders go up better than horizontal, so that's pretty good. Obviously, you get your full rotation. Single jointed elbow, which is fine for a design like this. Double joint would not look good with baggy clothes. I mean, it can, but it would get cumbersome at this size, so I'm okay with it. But you definitely can do it. I guess I shouldn't make excuses. They should have done it for an elbow like this, or for a figure like this. It's not good to have less than 90 degrees in the elbow, so that's definitely a bummer. Torso joint. Minimal range, very, very minimal range on that ball peg. It's mostly a rotation with a little bit of leaning. Oh, by the way, her little sash right here, her belt, this, it doesn't fit her. This must have come on another figure at some point. I don't remember, but it doesn't fit her. Like, it's way too big. Look at the, way too big. Goofy, goofy looking figure. All right, hips going forward, <laughs> no range, no range. Going back just a touch, going out to the side, maybe 45. And then you get your thigh swivel, which is fine. Gosh, that sash belt thing is in the way. Double jointed knee is acceptable. It's not particularly good. We do get a boot swivel. I don't remember the females having a boot swivel ever. Who, where did this body come from? This particular one right here. I don't remember anyone having that. Must be going crazy. Lack of sleep, I guess. Ankle goes all the way back, all the way forward. Ankle rocker is decent, so that's good, but the rest is pretty bad. So I'm gonna give the articulation a three out of 10. This figure is not one for posing, it's not one for looking at, and it's not one for having accessories. So I'll give this one a standalone, if it was a standalone figure, a rating of three out of 10. It's bad in almost every way. The face slash head is okay. But the rest is bad, Lockheed's good. The rest is bad, really bad. So in the context of the three pack, she's horrible. So you can just throw that one right away. So you're buying a two pack for a three pack pricing. And then Megan's not very good either, turns out, even though at first glance she looks decent. So that one's kind of a half throw away. And then you have Captain Britain, who's actually kind of decent. So that's pretty disappointing as a three pack. But this figure is rough, really not good. So I'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you really should consider it. I have new videos every day but Wednesday and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.